for them to have an event like this, something that kind of brings those soldiers together and social isolation is one of the things that they wanted to mitigate as far as this because it is part of the high risk behaviors that soldiers begin to engage in when they're experiencing different things. And so they're bringing the soldiers together. They've got a community right out these doors right now and they're interacting, they're talking, they're talking about cars, they're talking about life, they're talking about work, they're talking about the different things in their lives that, that matter. And so this is building resilience. This is building a social network and support. And it's giving them a different aspect of sort of what behavioral health looks like and what they stand for and what they can do for those soldiers and those families. And so I feel like this is a great example of how to increase the readiness of the soldier and increase the readiness of their unit to ensure the execution of their mission. Asking for help is not a weakness. Part of my position is going out and educating our community on the benefits of seeking help for the different things that they experience and helping them to understand that it's not a bad thing, that these things happen to everybody. We all experience life issues and sometimes we just need that little extra. We need somebody to talk to, we need somebody to help us work it out. Clinicians, our providers at Behavioral Health, are gonna do just that. They're gonna help them identify what the problem is and they're gonna help them find different mitigation strategies to address those things that they're experiencing in their life. I feel like the stigma of mental health care has gone down significantly since we've been able to do this. And we've been getting higher and higher ranked soldiers coming in and saying, hey, I've been dealing with this for 20 years, I think I need some help. They talk about readiness in the military and how important it is for the soldier to be ready. Part of that is making sure that that soldier is of sound mind, body, and they're ready to go out and execute that mission. So we're here as behavioral health to ensure that that happens. When you're able through relationship, right, share those stories back and forth of, man, this is where I've had failure, this is where I've, I've been hurting, and how I've processed that and healed from that, there is so much power. I think the biggest thing we're just trying to get is that there is help out there, whether it's through the military, civilian side, or you know through your chaplain, just that there are a lot of resources, so you don't have to do anything alone, you don't have to feel like you're alone, that there are people out there willing and wanting to help you. One of the situations that happen with soldiers not just isolating and being alone is that they think they're alone in this fight and we brought out resources here to let them know that they're not alone in this fight and that there are people they can talk to. If we can kind of normalize the human condition that no one's not prone to challenges and suffering in, in, at times, that, that we can just really come together as a formation and as soldiers and families to really tackle this epidemic that we have called suicide.